Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we'll be talking about the Troy for Troops Center here at Troy. My guest today, the new director for Troy for Troops, Daniel Pankey. Thanks for joining me here today. Thank you for having me. And uh, Troy for Troops, uh, we'll get more into what Troy for Troops does here in a little bit. But first, we'll know a little about you and uh, kind of how you got to where you are now as the director for Troy for Troops. Well, I started with uh, Troy University about 10 years ago as an academic advisor at our Tampa Bay location. And through a series of moves uh, through Columbus, Georgia, and in my previous position as a coordinator of state authorizations for Troy, Troy Online, I became the director of the Troy for Troops Center. Uh, my military background is I also serve as a, a, a officer in the United States Army Reserve. I'm a captain uh, in the military police corps. And that's how, how I arrived here today. <laughs> and so, uh, and you're in charge of Troy for Troops, but you definitely have not only a background, but yes. you're currently involved with the military. So uh, you've got kind of the experience to back up the, yes, the support that, there that you've got in there. And, but you've also uh, have a little bit of family history as well, correct? So you, you know what it takes to, to support a military family and someone in the military. Yes, I do. I, I'm currently serving also as a dependent. My father was a career officer. Um, so, and I, I utilize VA benefits to uh, earn my degrees. So I know both, both sides. Um, I also served as a headquarters, headquarters company commander, um, handling personnel issues. And I had soldiers walk into my office, you know, uh, with school, school issues and, and help them out. So I've got a little bit of background with higher education in the military. And I guess that kind of helps uh, why you probably sought out this position yes. and wanted to be here. It's, it kind of helped the motivation and what made you want to be in this spot and be able to take over the tour for troops. Well, I have a passion for the military, serving the military. The military has been great to me. I mean, my, my whole life, I pretty much have been around it. So it afforded me some opportunities and I wanted to give back. Um, that's one of the reasons why I started my career with Troy and then decided to serve. So I went into the military to give back. Um, and then this opportunity presented itself and I felt like it married two passions of mine, higher education, because I believe education is a portal for success. And we have a number of military students coming in out, out, of, out of service or they're currently serving and they, they need some help need some guidance so they can get lost. So I wanted to, to be a part of that. <laughs> and well, let's talk about that. The, what the Troy for Troops Center offers in that regard. You, you touched on it briefly there, but for those who don't know exactly what the mission is for Troy for Troops, kind of gives an idea of, of what it does for the, the, those affiliated with the military. Sure. Uh, the Troy for Troops Center not only focuses on academic success, but it focuses on career success. So what we want to do is we want a, to have a military member come into our center as a one-stop shop. So whatever questions they may have, they will find, we will either find the answers for that person, that individual or that soldier, or we will put them on a path to find that answer. So by the time they leave there, they either have an answer or they're, they're on their way to the, the correct department <laughs> to find out what that is. So we, we marry the two the departments. Um, we facilitate services. We also have a veteran success on campus counselor, one of two in the state of Alabama, which is a Department of VA representative that's contracted with the university. So not only do we have the academic portion set up, but we also have a, a mechanism to help out with any VA questions. Mm -hmm. uh, and that very important because a lot of that's the financial uh, yes. stimulus for getting them into some of these situations here at the university. Now, but the what you deal with, not necessarily uh, typical, <laughs> I guess that's no. the best way. And no. you, you, when you're, you're dealing with someone that's military affiliated uh, or a veteran, they could be years away from their high school or they could be, you, it, tell, tell us about that, like the, the, the variety of people that you, that you have to, may have to, to, to handle coming into the Troy for Troop Center. So well, we run the gamut. Mm -hmm. So when we're, when we're looking at a student, we, we, we have to sit down with them and take time with them. And, and our center affords that. So we're, we're looking at career, career soldiers that have had 30, 30 years of service. It's their first day on a co college campus. And we're helping them navigate through the system. And then we might have a savvy student, an online student who's, who's been uh, transferred between eight to 10 different universities. That's normal. So we're looking at their, their transcripts. We're looking at the military transcripts. And we're, we're um, facilitating that relationship with their evaluation center as well to make sure they're, they're pulling in most of their credit, if not all. So, you know, you, we're working from, you know, 18 year olds all the way up to, to, 
you know, 50 year olds that are just getting out of the service on, on up. So <laughs> all age groups. And of course, uh, the potential, some of those, the 18 year olds or even younger, the younger group, uh, they may be finishing their, their tour of duty and coming right to a campus, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's, that's any age. Mm -hmm. So we, we have students who are, you know, there are stabilization periods in the army where, you know, a unit comes back and they have a six month to a year stabilization period. But during, but there are some students that are coming right out, right out of deployment, you know, within a number of weeks. So we also facilitate, um, any, any personal issues that they might have or, you know, VA, um, don't want to really want to say issues, but they're, they're having some adjustments, mm -hmm. um, uh, acclimatization, uh, that periods where we help facilitate that. And we offer a lounge and we offer camaraderie with other students. Um, you have to be military affiliated to use our center. Mm -hmm. So that means either actively serving national guard reserve, a spouse or a dependent. Okay. So the, so it offers them a safe zone yeah. to where they can kind of get away from, from, the, what we call a civilian population come in and, and they know it's a military um, atmosphere. All right, well, safe. we're all running out of time, but if anyone has information, wants information about this, they are there is a Troop Troop Center located on all campuses here in Alabama, but uh, what can they do to get some contact information about well, this? They, they can call me. Okay. My number is 334-670-3657. Okay. Or you can email me at dpanky at troy.edu. All right, well, here's hoping that some folks take advantage of that and take advantage of the Troy for Troop Centers uh, across Alabama. Thanks for joining me here today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.